This clip's going to show you how to do a checkbox answer question. So in the instance where you'd use checkboxes, it's if you had multiple correct answers that you could choose from from a list. So if I've got if if I'm adding a question here, I go to add question and I can create my question. Which cities are in New Zealand? So I could give a range of question, a range of answers that they can choose from. So this doesn't want to be a multi-choice question where you can only choose one correct answer. It wants to be check boxes. So option one, a correct answer. Another correct answer here. And lastly, I could put Sydney, which is my incorrect option. I can also ensure that this is a required question. So when you're going through your quizzes, each one you can make it required or that it's not required to be submitted. But the user at the end will not be able to submit the quiz unless they've completed all the questions that have been ticked as required. So now I'm going to go to my answer key again because it's a quiz and make it with one point. Now I've got to select the cities that are in New Zealand and make sure that I choose it right as the quiz will mark against this. Again, I've got the option to add answer feedback for the correct answers. I can add well done. For the incorrect answer, I can enter feedback here. And this time I am going to put a link in. And I've got a picture here. So if I take that link, And if I add the link here, the text to display, if I want it to display a text to click on instead of a URL like that, I will just put map of New Zealand and I can save that. So if the participant gets it right, they'll get something saying well done. If they get it wrong, they'll get this comment here as well as the map of New Zealand that it links to. So that's how you do the checkbox questions.